like these. Ciao friends, Beth of Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Just got these. I am so excited. So I haven't even opened it or used it yet or anything, but I just got my Knitter's Pride Dreams Hooks. I am so excited. And now it's going to be an opening. I guess I've never used them before. So let's take a look at how cool these beautiful hooks are. These ones just came in the mail yesterday. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Knitter Pride Symphony Wood Crochet Hook Set Single Ended. And these are the Dreams with a Z. Dreams with a Z. And I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks. And a little pouch, which I do like. The little pouch. I don't like that this is not in the pouch. I'd prefer if there was a little thing, so one less brownie point there. We're going to open this up and see what we've got. It's a really good snap, I'm telling you that. I'm going to grab the red one because he's a five. Okay, let's look at him. This is beautiful. These are wood, and they're all different colors, which is super fun. I love it when they're different colors. It's just interesting. Why not be interesting, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in my hand. This is a five millimeter hook. They're nice and pointy. Ooh, that's going to be good. That can be very useful. Very useful if you're doing something along the lines of like a waistcoat stitch. That could be very helpful. Very smooth as Knitter's Pride would be, of course. The nice flat spot right here for my thumb. That's one of my favorite ones. You get a brownie point for that Knitter's Pride. And we have it written on here. It's an 8H or a 5.0 millimeter. Written right on the hook. I love that. It does come in a little pouch. I'm not a huge fan of this particular pouch because I know that right in here it will end up cracking. I prefer that they come in a little box, but you know, not everything can't be in a fancy box, I guess. But the Knitter's Pride people make really good product. Let's give it a try. I have a little bit of, I believe this is Royal Blue in Karen Simply Soft. I'm just going to try it because I haven't tried these before. I really like this. These are really smooth. Very, very nice. But let's give it a try. I'm just going to do a few chains. Oh, very nice. No snags. These are awesome. I can tell already. the way back down my chain. Not one snag. These are beautiful. Look at that. No snagging as you would assume, but yeah, you know, who knows unless you have one and give it a try. These are really nice. I love everything from Knitter's Pride is a nice product. Let's just grab up one of the big ones here. This is an eight millimeter. So it comes with has a a three, a four, a four and a half, a five, a five and a half, a six, what are you? Six and a half or a seven? A six and a half. And this one is an eight. This is a really nice one. This is a nice little hook. I like it. It's a fun color too. Definitely the workmanship is very nice on here. Again, written on here, nice flat spot for my thumb, nice and pointy. But here is the real test. Dum dum dum. Alright, here's our real test. Are they true to size? Let's see, eight millimeters right here. This is my eight. Hooray! They are true to size. Like you would be thinking that they wouldn't be from Nitter's Pride. And right there, true to size. I have two different ways to measure them, and they're both coming out perfect. So that's lovely. This set is usually around, right around fifty dollars, and you get eight. So for six six dollars, six or so dollars a hook, this is a pretty darn good deal for a Knitter's Pride product. I think these are really really nice. I'm excited to get busy making something with these. 
let's take out the teeniest one and see if how he is. If there's any snagging or anything going on here. This is the tiny one. This is a three and a half. I think I said three before. So three and a half. And this is just tiny. And again, still amazingly smooth. Let's just see what I can do. The tiny ones sometimes are the ones that go can get a little bit more snaggy. Just because they're much harder to make, I would assume, because they're so tiny. And not a snag in sight. These are lovely. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. is so awesome. Well, these are going to be put to good use here very soon. I'm really excited to get started using these because they're very, very nice. Very nicely crafted. And they're wood. And they're all colorful like this one's pink. Oh, I love pink. So there's my six millimeters pink. How exciting is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around $50. So you're thinking about $6 a hook for something that has the sizes that you always use, or that you almost always use, including a five and a half, which is nice because my prims don't have a five and a half, Aww. which are my favorite hooks, but there's no five and a half. So sometimes you have to have something different, and I'm excited about these guys. So everything is written, written on my hooks very nicely, very nice craftsmanship. Not a huge fan of the case that they're in because I'm going to have to make something else to hold them in. I don't really care for this one very much because I know that it's going to crack. But it's the place to keep them right now. I wish this was in it so that I always remember that these are my dreams. But generally, I would call these hooks a major success, and I'm really excited to get started working with them. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.